Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome here back to the Charlotte Roval Speedway for the uh, DC Solar National Division, the second, ra uh, second race of the playoffs here, of the uh, for the first round of the playoffs, as we're back here for another um, oval road course type race. The first time we did this was out at Denver. So um, starting on the front row is going to be the 98 of Mitchell Collins, and the, uh, the playoff driver, and then the 15 of Borslav Konstantinovich. Then behind him, you have the Chris, uh, yeah, the Chris, yeah, Christian Russell in the zero and the four um, of Cameron Hathaway. RHR is up here running really uh, well in qualifying. Baranoskis and Collins, they start next to each other. Then you have Robbie Gordon in the 38 and Andy Fell in the five. Fell has been quiet for some time, along with Bubba Jones in the 20. He's been really quiet too. And then you have the double zero of Gary Barlow. And the rest of you starting lineup from 11th on back. So coming into this race, Christian Russell is the only driver who is safe from elimination for this round. Uh, Sebastian Kuklon, is currently second in the standings. Then there's Dylan Young, Mitchell Collins, Andy Fell, Audrey Baranaskis, Baba Jones, and Cody Goforth. That is your top um, eight in the standings. And then you have Greg Lee, Bafold Sacco, Brett Povett, and Tony Green, who are all in danger of getting eliminated. And of course, Green, he's automatically out. Let's get you to the commands. And the engines have been fired up here. So we've already had a cup guys come here earlier in the season. It was a really good race out there. And it was an um, exciting race for the truck series here yesterday as well. And hopefully we get another one of those here today. As this track has been promising so far with the finishes. So hoping to get one of those good old Charlotte Roll finishes here today. So like I said, Greg Lee, Buffalo Sacco, and Brett Povert all in danger of getting eliminated here. And of course, Tony Green, who's last in the playoff standings, he won't be uh, returning till Pensacola weekend. So Green is automatically eliminated from the playoffs here in the national division. Tough break for Green, but we hope for a speedy recover, uh, recovery for him. So here we go, getting set to go. Green here at the Charlotte Roval. And it's going to be a Camaro and a Ford on the front row. Green flag is out. Off to the early lead. Go to contact right there in the back. Or not in the back, but between teammates right here. RHR running two, three, and four right here. And they're going to go three wide. Cameron Hathaway trying to get positions. Konstantinovich slid up the track just a little bit right there. Nearly getting into their boss right there. It's Christian Russell. He's in the middle. These guys trying to gain a whole lot of spots here earlier on. There's still three wide in the corners through these um, up and downhill S's. Right here in contact. Christian Russell goes around and his teammate goes around as well. Cameron Hathaway in the four into the wall and Hathaway is done. Hathaway is done. Russell still continues. And teammate problems right there. Those guys worked so well at Atlanta last race and now they just took each other out. Contact. Pretty sure it wasn't done on purpose, but... What a tough break for Christian Russell in the zero and Cameron Hathaway in the four. Robin Hood racing. Drivers finding some problems. Got another car around. Nathan Fisher in the nine. He's able to continue going. Not really any damage done to the nine right there. A lot of drivers on the apron. It was that they were trying to avoid fish right there. But coming to lead lap number one, Cody Goforth in the 98. And Borslav Konstantinovic not too far behind him. Man, what a tough break for um, the four and the zero right there. Russell, he, has any, he doesn't really have anything to worry about, though. He's uh, already locked into the next round of the playoffs. And Cameron Hathaway, such a great starting position for him. Ran really well at Atlanta. And he's already out of this one. Battle right here, two playoff drivers. Mitchell Collins in the 61. And the five of Andy Fell, two veteran drivers here. Or, well... The five is a veteran driver, but Collins drives like a veteran. I believe he has three wins a season, if not two. And already a bit of right side damage to a lot of these drivers after getting into that wall right there. Side by side, battle for a second. Baranowski is going underneath. Konstantinovich in the 15 for position. This is a four. Let's just, let's see what can uh, see. Let's see if we can see what the heck happened here. Looks like Russell just got so sideways out of the corner, trying not to get into his teammate. And then end up getting into his other teammate right there. Cameron Hathaway and Hathaway slammed that uh, unforgiving wall right there. Another look at it right there. 
Man, that's a really hard hit right there. And Russell, he uh, looks like he turned the car a bit more and just rear-ended the wall just a little bit. You see right there, Russell looked, saw that he was sliding up, tried not to get into Konstantinovich, but came down, couldn't save the car, and got into four of Cameron Hathaway. Hathaway is not going to be happy right there, but <laughs> that's his boss. Team meeting should be really interesting after this race. 35 is on pit road right there. Battle for the race lead now. Aljabir Naskis gets into Cody. Go forth just a little bit right there. Is this sliding coming out of the corners? They go side by side for the race lead. Baranowska is trying to win it here to get herself locked into the next round so that she doesn't have to worry about the next race. Konstantinovic now going underneath Cody Goforth, taking advantage, trying to get second place. And Baranowska is going to try and pull away with the lead. They got into the wall just a little bit right there. Baranowska is one and only win this season came out of Richmond to get herself into the playoffs. We get a flyby of the field here. So Baranowska is trying to lock herself before we head off to Kansas for the next race here. In the National Division side by side right here. Dylan Young in the 22 and Greg Lee, two playoff drivers. Young has been quiet for um, for a bit of, quite a bit of time actually. His last win came out at Yas Marina. He's a three-time winner this season. But he's been really consistent and Greg Lee gets into the wall and he gets into Dylan Young right there. And damage for both drivers right there, but Greg Lee looks like he just slapped the wall and Young got into him. Battle right here once again for second. Konstantinovich still trying to get the spot from the 98. And while those two battle side by side, it's allowing Baranowskis to get away. And now here comes Andy Fell in the picture. I don't believe Andy Fell has ever won at a road course. And he's going to go by the 98 and that's going to move him up to third place here. And now maybe these guys can try and catch Baranowskis. There's a... 23 of Sebastian Cuclon won this race yesterday in the truck series. He's trying to do the same here again, but he has some grounds to make up as three nearly slid up into the 23 right there. Cuclon trying to get his sixth win of the season. 12, Carson Hill slapped the wall right there just a bit. And uh, one thing that I want to know that we saw in the truck race, these guys hit the wall a ton and end up costing them, pit, um, costing them time on pit road. So will we see that here again? Because they definitely will be making pit stops. As we go through the field here, most everyone is single file. Everyone is pretty calm right now, led by Baranoskis in the 40. But I'm going to take a quick commercial break here at the Charlotte Roval. You're watching the second race of the first round of the DC Solar National Division. We'll be back. Welcome back here to Charlotte as these drivers are. Currently going through pit stops here, green flag pit stops, and now we definitely got to keep an eye on these guys. Baranowska, she's going to get all four tires, but I believe she does have just a little bit of damage, not too much damage on the 40, I don't believe. And I could be lying, she's taking a little bit of extra time to fix that damage. See Christian Russell, he too has heavy damage. Sebastian Kuklon, he's in and out. Konstantinovich is in and out. And that may hand the lead over to Sebastian Kuklon in the 23, 15 of Kuk or um, 15 of Konstantinovich, not too far behind. And the 98 is still on pit road. Baranowska, she just now got off, but Cody Goforth in the 98 still on pit road, along with Christian Russell. Russell has a whole lot of damage to fix right there, especially to the rear of that car. But Cody Goforth, this is costing them so much positions right now. So they're trying to get that car patched up right there on the right side, and he's out in a way, but definitely a heartbreaker right there for the 98 of Cody Goforth. He's going to lose a ton of positions, and he's going to be deep in the field. So as we head back up front, Konstantinovich with the race lead, or not Konstantinovich, um, Kikolon with the race lead, but the 15 is right there, not letting him out of his sight. It looks like it's going to be two, maybe three car battle for the race uh, win here. Really good passing zone. You got a lot of speed going in here. Sebastian Kukulon putting or getting pressured from behind by Konstantinovic in the 15. Can he get the sweep here for the race weekend? There's a zero of um, Casey Russell. 
So of course, he's well out of contention. And there's Cody Goforth, who's probably way out of the top 10 right now. He was 10, he's 10th that time by, so we'll see. Oh, we got a car up in smoke. Car go up in smoke is Tyler Mills in the 18. And looks like going to have another car out of the running here. Tough break for Tyler Mills right there. We head back up front. Baranowska, she's right there. She um, looks like she lost a couple spots too on pit road, of course, as they had to service the car. Try to get it patched up. Dylan Young just got into the three right there just a little bit. And Young going by Danielle in the three, four position, but still battle for the uh, race lead here. And now Konstantinovich has taken a race lead from Sebastian Kukulon. Can he run away with it? Sebastian Kuklon ended up getting passed right there. Can Konstantinovich keep this lead? Coming to two to go this time at the line, or three to, three to go. How about the 42, Jacob Bouchols could possibly pull off an upset right here, running third, finished fifth at Atlanta in his first ever start. So this 42 could definitely be an upset as he's right there with the race leader. So I definitely would not count out, uh, count out Bouchols. Um, or Bu 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 I kept say I keep saying Bouchols. So I apologize about that. I'm not good at names, but we go through the field here. Is Christian Russell with heavy damage to his side and or to his rear on Konstantinovich getting into the wall right there. So Konstantinovich continuing to um, lead here and he's kind of pulled a huge gap right now on the 23 of Sebastian Kuklon and it's about the same length, um, it's about the same distance from Kuklon to uh, Jacob Buholz in the um, 42. So We'll see what happens here as go through the field once more. There's the 98 of Cody Goforth. There's Brett Povett right there as well. A lot of drivers still getting into that wall right there. And that wall is just such a stick out right there. Kind of sneak up on these guys. There's a 20 of Bubba Jones. He's been really quiet all season long. Well, not all season long, but he's been quiet for a really long time. Last win, I believe, came at the Denver Oval. Three going down on pit road. So with two laps to go, is Alja Baranowska. She could have been a possible um, possible winner of this race, but that pit stop costed her big time. There's Dylan Young. He's trying to hunt down Bujols in the 42. But Konstantinovic still with the race lead. Keep Kalan once again getting into the wall just a bit. Konstantinovic has never won a race here in the national division. Came so uh, Came close so many times this season. You'd think he'd have at least multiple wins so far this season, but it has not been the case. They've just had such bad luck, and they're trying to turn it around here today. They missed the playoffs because they didn't get a win, but doesn't stop them from trying to get a win here today and for the rest of the season. As he head down into the final corners, Konstantinovic will take the white flag this time by. Has one to go here at the Charlotte Roval. And look at that lead. He is widening it so much. It was 1.8 seconds last time by. This time it's three and a half. Oh, it's over three and a half. So that 15 is on rails right now. And as long as they can just hit their marks and not have anything go wrong with the car, this race is pretty much in their hands. But don't want to call your apples before they get ripe here, if that makes any sense. But Still a heartbreaker for that zero of Christian Russell. However, the car that he owns is leading the race right now on the final lap. And again, he slaps the wall, but I don't think that's going to slow him down at all, really. His first ever win in Norla, or second win in Norla, came at a road course. It was at Sonoma in the lower divisions for um, Konstantinovic. And right there, Dylan Young has caught blows in the 50, or in the 42. Meanwhile, 15 of Konstantinovic, the Russian, still running away with the race lead. He just has a couple more corners here. Looks like Sebastian Kuklon is going to be the second highest running playoff driver. Then there's the 22 of Dylan Young. 
But into the final corner for Robin Hood Racing, his first career National Division win is going to come at the Robo as is Konstantinovich with the win. And a job well done right there for Borsalov Konstantinovich in his first ever DC Solar National Division win. And after pit stops, he just basically put on a clinic right there over Sebastian Kuklon and stopped Kuklon from sweeping the race weekend here at the Roval. So, Konstantinovich with the win, Sebastian Kuklon second. Uh, Jacob uh, Buholz in, uh, uh, in the 42 is going to get third. Dylan Young and Nathan Fisher going to get the top five. Alex McClary, great run for him. He gets six. Alder Baranowska, seventh. Mitchell Connors, eighth. Michael Creed, ninth. And Andy Fell running out your top ten. Kevin Hathaway and Tyler Mills did not finish the race. Maggie Quattro was multiple laps down. But big time to celebrate right now for Borsalov Konstantinovich in his first ever DC Solar National Division win. He'll go on to Kansas to try and repeat here and get possibly a second win. But until then, the next guy, uh, the next race you guys should see is going to be the Cup drivers as they take on the big, the bad, the Talladega Super Speedway for the first round or for the first race of the round of 12 over there for the Cup guys. So big race or big round for those guys and big race really. So thank you guys for watching. Congratulations once again to Borislav Konstantinovic on the win. The next race for the National Drivers will be at Kansas. As for the trucks, they head on to Las Vegas. And, of course, we have the Dirt Series as well who will be um, doing their third race of the season um, out there at Hales Corner. So congratulations to the 15 on the win. Here's the playoff standings after the Roval.